Hey dudes, what's going on? Luscious Seal here, and I'm here with a video that is something completely different from what I normally do. Now, this image, this, whoo, these moving images are about, um, it's about body image, and specifically male body image, and how it's not really spoken about, so to speak. There's lots of, you know, media, um, from what I've seen about female body image and how people are too skinny when they're not or too fat when they're not um, But there's never really anything about males. Um, so Basically how this video why this video is existing is because my friend Sam also known as Spryrite or however you pronounce it um, He's basically starting his campaign or something like that just you know to try and get people talking about male body male body issues and depression and mental health in everyone. Not just men, not just women, but everyone. Um, check out his stuff here. I might have a little a little video here if I so desire. Now, what I wanted to do for this video was pretty much say a few things that I don't like about my own body, um, but I didn't want to keep it negative. Um, I wanted to say a few things that I don't like about my own body and then try and say something that I do like about my own body. Very first thing, it's kind of minor, um, is my beard. I think that it's kind of patchy, like my cheeks. I just, you know, trimmed my beard yesterday. It's just kind of annoying, you know? It's a, it's a minor thing, but it annoys me because um, there's a stigma out there that to be a man, you have to be able to grow a full beard and has to be thick and luscious. And I can't really do that. Like my chin, it, it can get, it can get kind of long and it's kind of thick, but the rest, not really, it's just kind of there. To match that uh, negative view on myself, um, my positive view is my hair. Now, uh, my hair is very long compared to Possibly when you last saw it, really. Um, I've been growing it out since I, for, I want to say almost a year. I've been growing it, um, trimming the sides, basically being hipster as fuck. And recently, I've dyed my hair, like blonde. There might be some other random, like, red in there. Anyway, I just really, I really like the look of it. Um, another negative thing about, that I don't like about my body is my legs. Um, specifically my thighs. Now, my thighs, I've always thought that they've been kind of thick. Um, you can't really tell in the video, but I've always thought I had fucking fat thighs, basically. For, for a dude, at least. I've always thought my thighs are too big to be a dude's and my hips. I don't know. Positive. They're thick because they're fucking muscly now. They're fucking muscly. You can't see my calves or my... I could put shorts on. Shorts! My legs. I thought they were thick, just you know, because they were fat. But now, since I've been going to the gym the past six months, they're fucking muscly and shit. Like, I don't skip leg day. Nice, me. Now, remember how I said that thing about me liking my hair? Well, I also don't like my hair. Not because of what I think of it, but because of what other people think of it. There's definitely a thing, you know, where dudes are meant to have short hair, women have long hair. And when I first grew my hair, when I first left school, so three years ago, um, I also didn't really have a beard very much. So I was very conscious of the fact that from behind, I possibly looked like a female because I had long hair. Um, and I'm also conscious of the fact now. Not so much anymore because these days, people have, like dudes, have long hair now. And you can kind of tell if it's a dude with long hair. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the back of my hair, but it is a thing that I am conscious about. But positive about myself. I like to think I'm quite fashionable. Um, this is what I'm wearing, cardigan, shirt. I'm currently wearing shorts, but I was wearing my pants before. This still works. I like what I wear. I kind of don't really give a fuck. I like to dress nicely, and I don't really give a fuck about what other people think. With that, I like to think I'm fashionable. That's my positive. 
I don't know what it is, but I keep moving around a lot during this little uh, recording thing. I just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My final thing that I am gonna feel pretty uncomfortable doing and pretty uncomfortable putting on the internet. Basically, I'm getting undressed. Um, I'm gonna keep my shorts on because then it would be considered I'd be naked, but I'm not naked. Um, so yeah, basically I am not really that comfortable with my body at the moment. Um, I have been not really comfortable with it since leaving school in 2011. At the time of recording this, it is 2016. Um, the main reason I have not felt comfortable is basically my belly. My belly has gotten bigger and so are my, my man boots, so they say. As I was saying before, in the past six months I have been going to the gym. So this belly, while it's bigger than it was when I was in school, it's smaller than it was this time last year. This is, this feels weird. Just standing here in front of this camera with no shirt on and basically minimal clothing without you know just being in underpants. Also with my with my belly I have love handles and stretch marks. Stretch marks was the point where I was like like at first I didn't know what the fuck these weird lines on me were. I also have them here. You can't see them because of the lighting, but I have them on my arms. Um, yeah, when I first got them, I didn't know what the fuck they were, but now I do, and I was like, shit. The positives. As I was saying, I've been going to the gym for the past six months, and well, as I said, my belly's smaller, my pet, my man, man boobies are becoming pecs, my arms, they're like more more muscly and defined and I feel weird flexing on camera. I'm not flexing as hard as I can, but I am flexing, you know? Flexing, like, I've never been one to flex. How one feels about their body is weird. I'm super uncomfortable in my body. I'm becoming more comfortable in my body since I've been going to the gym and so I'm beginning to not really give a fuck what other people think because I like my body. Therefore, I like to think that other people like my body. The point of this video was to just kind of, you know, help at least one person out with their body issues, whatever they may be. Let them know that there are people out there that can help. There are everyone in this whole fucking planet has something with their body that they don't like. Even if it's a minor, fucking look at celebrities. They fucking get plastic surgery because they are not, they don't like their nose or they don't like how something on their face works. So they go get it fixed. Everyone has some body issue. Whether you're fat, you're too skinny, you got a weird knee, something is wrong with you, it doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck? Really, like, if I was walking down the street on my belly and some dude came out to be like, hey, fat so I'd be like, fuck off. Body's a weird thing. Look after them. But at the same time, don't give a fuck what other people think. Thanks. Oh, also, my socks. Oh, I got these shorts. And also, I can't fucking, these socks are fucking sweet, eh? Look at, 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 another positive, I like my tattoos, I go always, you got this, you got this, I kind of want to, I kind of want to get some more, I want to get some more.